Hi there. This chapter in a lot of calculus is about derivatives. A derivative is usually defined, at least initially, in terms of a limit. And you have a, you have, you have a limit and you have a formula. And a lot of students who are learning calculus have trouble remembering this formula. This should not be the case because the formula comes directly from the idea of slope. What is slope? What is slope? You guys should have lots and lots of answers for this. So the first thing that we might want to put is we might put slope is a rate. It's a rate. Slope is also m in the uh, formula for a line. Y equals mx plus b. Uh, slope is also rise over run. Slope is also change in y over change in x. Slope is also, if you want to be more fancy, it's delta y over delta x. Slope is also y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And finally, the version that we're going to use the most is this one. Slope is f of x2 minus f of x1 all over x2 minus x1. We start out by looking at the slope of what are called secant lines. So here I have a curve f of x and here I have a point x and a point x plus h and if we move up here we see that this corresponds to f of x and go up to here this corresponds to f of x plus h and I want to know the slope of this line well look we've already said we've already said that all we need to look at is this is like here we do x2 x1 and this is like this is equal to f of x2 and this is equal to f of x1 and so all we're doing is we're computing the slope and so the the slope of this line is going to be f of x plus h minus f of x all over x plus h minus x. So that's the slope of this line. Now a derivative is nothing more than a formula for the slope of a line that's tangent to a curve. So we know we should be looking at f of x plus h minus f of x all over x plus h minus x. And this is really just f of x2 minus f of x1 all over x2 minus x1. But remember, we're trying to find the instantaneous growth rate. And so if we look back at our curve here, what we want to do is we want to take this point and move it back, thus moving this into a tangent line. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take the limit as h goes to zero of this whole thing. Now you may say to me, but Bart, this doesn't look like the formula that we see in the textbook. Well, no, it doesn't look quite like it because the formula, what they've done is they've simplified it a bit and disguised the fact that it's just the slope formula because when you look at the denominator here, the x's cancel and you're going to have h down here. So it's f of x plus h minus f of x all over h and you take the limit as h goes to zero. So in this short video, my goal was to impart this idea that derivatives and slope are very much intimately connected. All right, now let's do some math. 